Without commitment, you'll never start, but most importantly, without consistency, you'll never finish. I've got a routine where I've got to stick to it. First thing in the morning, I'm always drinking my Athletic Greens drink, checking emails because I do more than just wrestle. I'm always on the grind, always keeping it moving. I get my work ethic from my mom. She was always partying, but she always said she didn't miss a day of work. And that whole no days off lifestyle lives within me. I don't need an alarm clock. My grind is what gets me up. My mom is so dedicated to my life and my career. She comes to all my speaking engagements, all my wrestling matches. And I couldn't imagine not having my mom at an event. If you mess up with my mom, you mess up with me. When I came out, I have a duty to instill confidence in our youth and to lead by example. So on top of the wrestling, I have my whole block, the hate movement that means so much to me. Any city I'm in, I reach out to, to do charity work to spread my message about Block the Hate. What's up world, you know what time it is. I'm here at Jefferson School, I'm so excited to be here. I'm sharing my Block the Hate movement. Jefferson School, make some noise! In order to be strong and successful, you gotta block the hate. And at the end of the day, I want this to be the next middle finger. Don't be a bully! Block the hate! Don't be a bully! Block if I can change someone's life by sharing my story, then I'm doing my job. Tom Lawler, Fred Rosser, I was intimidated because he's got a legit MMA background. So I had to do my homework, I had to study, I had to watch footage of him to see how I'm gonna handle this guy. That's the message that he preaches to block the hate, to stop bullying in its tracks. This is the physical embodiment of a bully here in Filthy Tom Lawler. That's his style, that's his modus operandi. He's got all his limbs locked. There isn't anywhere for Fred Rosser to go. And he will submit. They had to stop it because I wasn't gonna tap out to him. I, I knew I could beat him. I just needed another shot. But if they sign another match between Filthy Tom Lawler and Fred Rosser, count me in. The fans voted match of the year in 2020, that's like my biggest honor ever. Philadelphia was a special moment for me because I have never wrestled in the ECW arena. Team Filthy against Team No Hate. The action was heavy. The minute I got the pin on Lawler in Philadelphia, it infuriated him. I, whether out of rage, whether out of embarrassment, whether out of anger, he has driven the life out of Fred Rosser. Wow. This is shameful. This is shameful, Alec. Oh, well, he has completely just lost it. Simply trying to embarrass the man. That morning I felt pathetic. It was really a low point in my career. The next day I had to speak at a school. He just experienced the, the very thing that he fights for. He just got bullied. In the morning I woke up, went in the bathroom and looked in the mirror and I... I 
I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't spread my message that day. That's something that is still weighing heavy on me because I don't cancel on anyone, but I just, I couldn't show up. Riverside. I've done interviews and I've said never have I heard a crowd so solidly behind me. Fred, 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 Fred. The fans here trying to motivate Rosser. to the back. Inches away from that road, but he may not even know that. There's no way Fred Rosser will ever tap out. He will pass out. He will get choked out. I'm not surprised all you losers are cheering for Fred, cheering for a guy that hid from who he was for so many years. It's something I think about daily with Tom, Either I'll find a way or I'll make a way. But I'll be damned if I make an excuse. I'll be damned if I make an excuse.